Bolton are in trouble. They're rooted at the foot of the League One table with minus 12 points because they went into administration. Who can save them? Who can save them? Only, of course, Samuel Aladici. <laughs> the beautiful bastard it's samuel aladici who is kind of related to sam aladice maybe we, no one knows uh i used my normal face that i took from a photo of mine that's just <laughs> cropped magically i don't know if you can see but um i have a forehead the size of sam aladice's ego himself and i kind of look a little bit like a weasel but i also look a little bit like sam aladice himself which is both handy and upsetting um my proportions aren't quite right though um is there any way to just kind of just you know um, cramps up a bit there we are <laughs> right. okay we have a job to do here no more messing around so as you can see bolton are in trouble they've hired me samuel aladici uh, respected manager and veteran of many gravy uh, boats um why the name Gravy Train? Well, as an Everton fan, I used to watch him uh, destroy our team and drink bottles of gravy on the sidelines. So there you go, the Gravy Train. The idea of the series is to go to teams in trouble and save them from trouble and keep them up and every two years move on so I can save a team from relegation, get promoted and then leave. I can't stay beyond that. If I can't get them saving from relegation i have to move on it's it should be quite interesting um i don't think i've got any more rules it's quite a simple straightforward series and i hope you enjoy it so here's what i've done so far um i've included the full pre-season transfer window on top of the regular pre-season for the first season with bolton uh so th all of these aren't mine obviously all of these aren't mine there are a few signings i've made benny beningamy from everton Great player, really good at breaking ankles, so I thought I'd bring some of that steel to League One. Uh, it doesn't, isn't quite good enough for Everton, but you might have a spot here. So that should be, he should do well here. And Kean Flanagan from Crystal Palace. And on top of that, we have all of these players who my under-23 coach has just, 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 got, just went and bought. So, yeah, very cool. From Dubai? How the hell did they ex escape from there? That's interesting. I've not, unfortunately, been able to shift anyone, so I've got quite a lot of players. <laughs> So then, this is my starting 11. I've gone with a uh, adoption of a Carlo Ball, a system I use at Everton for my main save, basically based on the way Carlo Ancelotti plays football. It's not one-to-one, -one, of course, because the man is far smarter than I am. The basic idea is two up top, play down the wings, and rely on counter-attacks and whipped balls, basically. So what I've done, I've gone with Beningaby, a uh, ball-winning ball winning midfielder on defend, uh, so he can just break some ankles, do his thing, do his thing. Then we've got F Flanagan from Crystal Palace as the Mazzala. Uh, we've got a few, quite a few centre-backs. I think we've got about five, six centre-backs, so that'll be interesting to see how I squeeze them all in. Honestly, the transfer policy here is just, just crazy. Uh, they just, I think, in real life, Bolton on the last day of the season just went, yeah, I'll have that, yeah, I'll have that. Kind of like wh how we do when we go shopping now at Tesco. We're just like, yeah, I'll have them, Chris, we'll have this, anything we'll do, please, please just get me out of it. So, yeah, um, all of them there, they should all fit into the system pretty well. Um, I'm not too sure about Carlo Ball itself yet. Um, what led me to try this system is that I've had a really, really good pre-season where I've only lost one match against Ustende. Um, and I've gotten some pretty good results against FC20, Steve McLaren's old team, obviously, where he went uh, gold finger for a little bit. Very odd that. Not gold finger, gold member. Uh, Boreham Woods, who should be beaten. Addo Den Haag. Oh, it's probably incorrect. Very sorry for any Addo Den Haag fans out there. East Five, who I cremated 8 1, which is quite nice. And then Charlie Roy, who sounds like an old racist British com comedian. So. Yeah, it's been a very good preseason. I I wouldn't have expected to do that well. Only losing one, uh, which should put me in good stead for when we play Wickham on the opening day of the season. So this is just going to be an introductory episode where I talk through what I've done so far, and then I'm going to play the first episode as well. And then every so, every few or so matches, any big matches come to the fore, I'll record those as well and put them on the YouTube. 
So if you're wondering how well uh, Bolton are getting on with the money, I seem to have a bit of money. So I have transfer budget. I'm not sure where from, but that appeared just randomly. I had zero pounds to play with. So I've been doing a few loans and stuff. As you can see, I'm playing fairly well with a wage budget. So I'm keeping it all, I'm keeping it all afloat. <coughs> yep, keeping it all fine. All good. No reason to worry. No reason to worry. So I've just had a transfer offer from Newcastle for Ronan Darcy for his prospective 1.9 million. Now, Darcy is he's okay. He's pretty decent. 18. Got good current ability for the team. Attacking midfielder centre. Uh, five star potential ability for this league. But yeah, he's got really good stats for a um, League One player. And he wants to join anyway, so I guess I should let him go. You see, the good thing about the gravy train is I don't have to worry about the future of the clubs. I'm Sam Allardyce. I turn up, I make the fans hate the team, but I save the team. That's how he operates. So I just go transfers. Um, I'm going to regret this, but he, Bolton really need this £2 million, so I think I'll say yes to that. He wants to go anyway. He's going to kick up a fuss if he doesn't go, so yeah, that's fine. So, here we are then, match day one, and the first opponent of the season is Wickham. Now, what I've gone with, just swap the defenders around a little bit. So, we've got Zuma, who is the brother of Kurt Zuma, a player I love very, very much. Uh, Johan Zuma, he's not nearly as good as good old Kurt, but he's a bit of a he's a bit of a leaping gazelle. He's got 16 jumping reaches, which is nice. But I've got him on ball-playing defender duties, just because he's got a few little abilities that I think will suit the rule. Uh, and then we've got Beningame, uh, Flanagan as well in centre of the park. Politic, which is a wonderful name. Uh, Buckley on the right. Murphy, who is 9,000 years old. He's 36. Uh, he can't do anything, but what I've done is I've just thrown him up there. Asked him to basically be a trampoline. For the ball to bounce off him onto <laughs> Joe Dodu, who I may have to nickname to Joe Dodu soon. Um, or Dodo. And he'll basically be our finisher. He's wicked fast, so we might actually be better on the left side because both our wingers are very, very slow. Yeah, not exactly great. But anyway, try this for now. See how it goes. <laughs> that's, I guess that's what everyone in management does anyway, I think. Uh, see how it goes. It'll be fine. Uh, definitely what Sam Allardyce does. So, yeah, let's, let's give this a try. It's one win. I need just one win, and then I need another three wins, and then I have zero points, and then that's when the season really starts, gang. That's when that's when that's when things really start to kick off. That's all I need: four wins, four wins, zero points, and that's it. No, no worries, no worries. We can do it. It'll be easy. <sighs> so here we go. Then first team talk of a professional game with Bolton. I've never actually taken charge of a lower league team before. I've always played Everton, so this is be a bit of a steep learning curve for me to passionately say uh, give that give these fans their money's worth it will be stressed right give them a get him a cow pulp someone please and then just do this do this see no reaction they don't give a shit to brilliant <laughs> they don't care oh okay so Murphy gets his underway over to Beningami and I've got the ball I've got the match far too quick far too quick right turn that down quickly match speed during highlights slightly faster is it there we go. That sh that's, that looks about... I, don't, I think it's slightly too quick. Oh, good, good save there from Al Sop. So not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. We dominate the possession. Oh, now we're not. Okay, now I'm panicking. Now I'm panicking. So nothing to report here. I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad with a draw, but we seem to be holding our own, really, away from home. First game. Uh, Jacobson gets, flings it in. Politic gets it away and then onto Flanagan. Let's search down the wing for Dodu. And he's going to take it on, is he? Oh, 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 he's off the bar from Dodu. Okay, not a bad start, not a bad start. So there's no reason to get upset yet. All right, stop, stop kicking people's shins. Thank you, Josh. There we go. In from the Flanagan on the right. Oh, Delaney nets it. The first professional Bolton goal of my managerial career. And there you go. Ryan Delaney gets it with a very simple uh, little header. I like to. I've gone for set pieces. I'm trying for set pieces, and just try and make use of the height we have in the team. It's quite a, quite a tall team, which is you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought it was a really delayed offside, but it's just showing me that it was in fact not offside. Thank you, Sports Interactive, for that. Uh, good, good, good stuff so far. So we're one nil up. Uh, things are going well, but I can, they're just not reacting to me. They have no opinion of me. I think they. Think I'm their stepdad. They probably had so many stepdads by now. The amount of managers are coming in and out. They're just so jaded by it. God's sake. 
Right, come on, lads. Nothing to report so far. Jakobsen, Boone doing stuff. Will Buckley on a 6.4. Flanagan on the ball again, delivering that shot in. Oh, and it's Murphy! It's 2-0! Oh, my goodness. All right, okay. This is the dream start. I think Wickham are odds-on favourites for this one. So, to go at 2-0 here is pretty, pretty good. Daryl Murphy, all 400 foot of him and all 400 ages of him. Doesn't make any sense, Jim. Whatever. So, there you go. Was that upside? No. Nope. Very good. So, we are edging it slightly on all the stats. So that's nice to see as well. Don't stop breaking stuff. Thank you. Just give them some passion. Just to just to bring them into it a bit more. They're having no reaction to me. They're having no reaction to me at all. Here we go. Emmanuel's on the ball. Daryl Murphy to Buckley. Over to the left on Politic. Oh, this is lovely football. Oh. Oh, now I'm panicking. Okay, Flanagan's got the ball. Politic. Like it's through to Dodu. Oh, good save us up. See, it's going well. All highlights so far have been ours. Any clear-cut chances? Two for us. So, both of them we've had have gone in. It's very good. That really should have been a bit better. He's 9,000 foot tall. Highlight for Wickham. Jacob's on the ball. Akin Fenwa. Oh, my God. The Hulk's here. I didn't realise that. Switches the play over to Smith. Crosses it. Oh, God, it looked like his arms are going to fold back into the goal then. 88 minutes, I've not made a single change. I'm just too just too nervous. I'm just too nervous. What should I do? Going to caution. He's nervous as well. We could both be nervous together. Calm down, Tex Masperin. There you go. Put him on. What else can we do? Who's knackered? Got Daryl Murphy. He's feeling the age. He hasn't had his, what do you call them? Zipper boards? No, whatever. They're getting off topic here. What are they called? The, the, the rigs that old people use to walk with. What are they called? Zipper frames? Zimmer, Zimmer frames. Jesus. Anyway, he's going to come off. I've got no strikers on the bench. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to put him there, even though he really doesn't enjoy doing that. Um, and just, oh, actually, what I'll do, put him back there. He does like that. He does like that. I don't understand why he can't. I don't understand why he could be a shadow striker, but has no interest whatsoever in being a striker. He can't do anything there, but whatever. I'll let that one go, Crawford. So two substitutes done. So hopefully we can see this one out. No drama at all. And there we go. First win of the season. And that was pretty unexpected. Pretty comprehensive. I wasn't really expecting it to go that well. So we have shaded them all on the stats. We had a great game. Ryan Delaney had a great game. So he's been making some saves, so we've clearly been better in the goal. Sorry, I had a little burp then. I'm very excited. I get little excited burps. I'm very happy with all of that. Well done, that. And where does that leave us in the table? Still bottom. Still bottom, guys. But nine points now. That's three more wins. Three more wins. And then we can climb up the table. That feels very good indeed. So I hope you enjoyed this very first episode of The Gravy Train. I know I did. Uh, it was quite fun. I've enjoyed it a lot. It's been good. This this won't last. This won't last. We'll start losing. Uh, where's the other team? Shouldn't there be 24 teams? Is that Barry? Anyway, I've enjoyed this very much, so I hope if you enjoyed it as well, please uh, let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting the like button. That was a very long-winded way of saying something. And then uh, what, after you've done that, then you can press subscribe. Um, and that would also be cool as well. If this video gets like 50, 50 likes or something, I might go on camera if, if I can be bothered. So if you enjoyed this, thanks for watching. It doesn't make any sense either. Right, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to leave on the high and stop just rambling on like an old man like Daryl Murphy. Thanks for watching.